All right, folks, right off the back, I want to apologize for a dark episode, uh, but I had to bring y'all back. This got through bell in this field. Uh, you see here, grass, 14,000 liters. I'm like, wow. It's a lot of, lot, it's going to be a lot of silage. It's fragmenting. Uh, you see the wrap cover, kind of the same. Uh, and then we got white, and then we got like a brown. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what kind of colors are these? I didn't want these. Some more whites. Then we got a red, a brown, a green, another white, a red and a white. So anyway, we're going to uh, get in the truck on the wrong side. But this trailer does auto load, folks. Um, Routes back, I want to say welcome to Farming Simulator 22 here on Platinum Edition. Uh, Super Run Force. I don't know what episode this is, but uh, we're going to make it happen. Yeah, we're going to pick up these bales. We are chasing the rain, as you can see up there. Only thing about it, I have to hit uh, left shift and R each time. And apparently that and... Oh, no, it's dragging it. Okay. There we go. I guess it's just going to stack them in the middle. No, nah, it's not what I'm hoping. Yeah, you see how slow this truck is? Those other trucks I bought ain't not like this. No, sir. And also, I did buy uh, a fill uh, a chisel plow. It's more like a fill cultivator, but it is plow. They recognize it as a plow. So... That's, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't know if we're going to... No loading allowed unless stationary. Crap. Crapola. we got to be stopped to load them. I hope you load more than just that, too. A right, big old long trailer. I'm only going to load a section. Man. But we are getting there, and it is auto-loading, so... Quit grappling, Mr. Blue. Oh, okay. I had to know one back to the footer. <clears throat> I dropped a lot of them off right here. I had two on that end over there. I already picked those up. Um, we were fixing to look here in a minute. This, ooh, almost missed one. This is going to give us our uh, liters of what we are having. But too bad the sheep can't eat this. Now we have, oh, okay, it's going to put some up at the very top. I had to put them up there first. But that's all I got right there. Um, which is, I'm having trouble counting the zeros. One, two, three. Look like 238,000 liters of grass, but will be silage. I'm just going to shut this off here. Um... Let's go over here and see if we can turn this back on and look at the uh, uh, 17 bales off this field. That is good. Um, do you see I got 23,000 here. I did buy. I'm going to go straight to the shop. Here it is, folks. Start this bad boy up. All right. One, two, three. Um, didn't like the sweeps I wanted. But hey, it, it's still chisel pile. It's just got wide sweep instead of the others. So I guess that's be all right. Still goes as deep. Got our fans on the back to to get it here. It's the John Deere 2410 plow. Um, yeah, it, it's good. I wish we had a case actually to match a tractor. That'd be awesome. But we bought this in the last episode, a special edition. The uh, twin turbo 400T Magnum tracks. It shouldn't have no problem of pulling it. So we're going to fold this bad boy up. We're not going to do this now. But we got to get it off this lot. Because uh, I don't know where we're going to set the bales. John said something about a concrete spot setting them. So I don't know where he's talking about. Is he talking about over here? Now let's pull this on out of the way. Oh, this thing gets up and goes. 
our wheat's doing pretty good. Let's, let's check on it real quick. Uh, as you can see there, second stage. Uh, crop rotation's perfect. Nitrogen is perfect. And our pH value is perfect. Look at the expected yield. I did uh, hit a spot in that other field that was good. Oh, I hate this. Alright, uh, but what I'm going to do, get this up here, which nobody should be coming down this road anyway, but I don't want to run into or wheat, so I'm going to make sure I don't hit the spur. Yeah, I, oh my god, I can't see inside. I can't, I can see outside, but it's hard, but... Ho, 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 ho. I like it. It's just, I could probably could see if I was in there for real. But my monitor, I got a window I need to cover because it is hard seeing, folks. Uh, especially when the sun's bright, bright. Okay, I don't want to get it in line, but I'm going to go ahead and park it right here. And yeah. So that's good. We can show all these lights off. Get that. Uh, I'll bring you right back with uh, the mowing. All right, I'm bringing you back over here at the trailer. Uh, as you can see, it's still showing fragmenting. Oh, okay. I don't know if that was because it was on the trailer or not. That's 1%. We're going to leave this on the trailer and just try it. But we got to get it out of this field in case it, you know, we don't want it to be muddy. This one's only got two. I really don't know where to go sell this at. Probably an animal dealer somewhere. Oh, folks. Y'all see that? I hear it hitting the rooftop. It is raining. Oh, we got that out of there just in time. Like, we can't mow now because it's going to be too wet. And y'all can hear the thunder, hopefully, in the background. Um, and it should, is there a turn lane here somewhere? Where is that? All right, right there, I hope. Yep, right here. I don't know if he's talking about here or not, but we do. Oh, heck. Look at there. We got a tater. I forgot all about that. Y'all can go back. I parked it there. I totally forgot all about it. At least one thing about it, these bales are wrapped. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be out of the way or not, so I'm just going to parallel park with the track over here. And we're going to, I'm going to probably go ahead and go to the house and come back early in the morning. And we're going to do some switching around. Or, or something I'll be too wet to plow so I will man wish we had one more small tractor and uh, well, I wish I didn't get rid of that one hey, how much truck fuel on there um, we can harvest in some trees I guess uh, but this guy here don't have much in it but um, this guy's good for now, I guess. I was wanting to mow. Here's the mower. It's by the sheeps. I'm going to fast forward to midnight. Bring y'all back then so y'all can see the prices. It will not tell me nowhere in here what the amount of... Uh, I guess it's a mod I had installed or something. I've never seen it on this one. To tell me how much is in silos and stuff like that. Oh, I had something. That's probably an egg or something. Yep, right. Yep, that's the eggs. 445 pieces of eggs. Let's go in here real quick. The sheep's got 12,000 liters left. Hopefully, it'll make it through. And the rain won't be that long. And... Um, we're 250,000 loan right now, but we did get that tractor we wanted and you know, we're coming along pretty good. I didn't know selling the stuff to the 
roller coaster helped out a lot I'm gonna try to find sellage up right there uh, Silver Run Market 176 liters going up um, we are October November so February if we keep it to February we got 189 189 is max it's not too far off we might go ahead and sell it I don't know after it quits raining but anyway let me bring you right back all right it's just, uh, about 11 o'clock and the rain has stopped and while it's still clicking already real quick we're at 177 there and we're not doing pretty good on animals still i ain't worried about the chicken it's the sheep so i'm going to be worried about but i want to show you the midnight prices so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick got 120 times almost there i'm going to show it down about come on it was yep right there four hundred and sixteen dollars on the own 125 vehicle leasing sixty two dollar property maintenance and fifty nine dollar production costs so that big old hundred thousand dollar thing must have been from cutting some trees or something so i don't know where that big drop come from but it hasn't happened so anyway we're november 1st let's go in here they're still doing good I wish we can pay some back on that loan. Um, showing we're going to get some more rain, but it's not anytime soon. And as y'all can see here, one, two, then three and four is the lines we want to worry about. So one, two, three, and four. I can still, I still got two days to plant grass. So yeah, I'm going to bring y'all back in the morning. All right. I know y'all probably like, what the heck? It didn't rain that much, folks. It rained more over towards sheep areas, so I couldn't mow. So I've been outlining the edge of the field here, and I'm like, well, it's it's dry enough to go ahead and go, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going. I should have made another round. I'm going to come back and get that I'm on this end anyway. But this is our new field plow, cultivator plow, chisel plow the wide sweeps um, yeah we're gonna rock it we're gonna rock it till it rains again which is not very long probably or it shouldn't need because it's going auto save um, trying to see where I'm at so it, yeah I gotta I'm gonna pick up on that I'm gonna go ahead and turn around lower down so we don't leave no tracks compaction which i don't think we will but that's tractor i wish y'all could see it during the day but you know what whoa i almost hit the heh yeah. i almost hit the uh road area there i don't want the uh trying to get a good spot Take a picture. Right. No, they ain't going. I'll do it later. I gotta uh, finish this episode. Um, turn around so I can see. Oh, I'm way off. I ain't way off. I was gonna hit my line there. But anyway, yeah. Um, it's probably going to be on the shorter side of this episode. I think about 18 minutes now, maybe. Um, I'm going to go get this here, get that little spot, finish this, and then I'm going to go to bed, folks, and uh, give it time to dry. I'm going to check the chickens before I leave and make sure they're all done. And I'm going to get a, a thumbnail, maybe, hopefully. Go across this end here a little bit more. I need to go across that in, but yeah, this is our field cultivator. Oh, that's got background light in the back, and I'm wrong way on that. And okay, get on the other side. But folks, I appreciate each and every one of y'all watching and supporting me and stuff. Um, 
one two of you have asked about the PayPal I said it in the uh, the uh, last episode I think maybe an episode before that I have a cash app I don't know how to uh, send a chime link I don't know if we got a chime link but you know it, it's one of those things so but anyway, uh, if you're feeling generous and you want to donate to the to the Mr. Blue channel, aka Tommy Miller, uh, you can uh, through the Cash App. If you don't want to do that, just let me know. Um, is it your Chime ID that you put down there? It's kind of like a Cash App, but it's just a little bit different. So I don't know. Uh, Hit me up, let me know, and if you're feeling generous, you know, I appreciate it. You don't have to. Just if you want to do anything to help support me, just get me to, uh, sorry to say a million subscribers, I wish, to a thousand subscribers. I'm at 635, I think. So if you can rock it to a thousand and just put my, all my videos are on a playlist. So if you want to, clean a house or something not doing nothing you know just all the ladies out there that's watching and put me on a playlist and let me uh go through while you're uh cleaning house you don't even have to sit there and watch just you know do it that way i know youtube probably don't like that but uh, don't tell nobody but that's what i do to some of mine help support them um but yeah I'm going to see if I can leave this. I ain't got it all the way down. I'm just going to try to turn right here. Yeah, I caught it that way. Oh, didn't catch it that way. I'm going to have to back up. Raise it up. Back up just a little. Hook back on that line. There we go. And folks, we're done. And it is... Oh my God, it's 9 o'clock already. It took that long? I'm going to slow that time down. That's going to get me in trouble. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be doing the other field over. It is on stage three. And it's ready to mow. It was ready to mow on stage two, but y'all know what I mean. Let me get this real quick. We're going to jump over before we say our goodbyes. Um, go ahead and uh, let this be raising up and folding. Uh, that's probably ready to dump now. Let's go ahead and finish dumping that. And while that's dumping, we'll go in here and... Yeah, I got today and tomorrow to plant grass, so I gotta get this field done. Um, weather looking good so far. I don't know what the afternoon, because November 2nd, rain. Or is that snow? Starting to look like snow instead of rain. And go down here, sell each step 177. Um, 250 alone. Actually, the sheep are the ain't eating that much. And look at our production, reproduction is up 20%. Um, so, yeah. Um, all those are looking good. Look at the chickens, they're up good. Doing pretty good. Um, I do have two transport missions I haven't done yet, so not doing the dead wood, not doing the rocks, and this other stuff I ain't doing. Staircase grilling. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta make some, uh, start getting our lumber and stuff out other places. So let me, uh, pull this back up. Oh, we got three extra... Three extra uh, iron, uh, that just says metal. Iron core makes it, and metal is what we got. And we got over here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're starting our second row, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we can take that somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna run over here real quick. As you can see, the grass there, three of three, ready to harvest. Everything is looking good, and it is a lot taller. So that's good. We're going to mow this next episode. 
We're gonna turn it to hay. We got a tether. Um, and we got a roller in here that we can roll it. And I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, diggum chickens cocking. We got three stacks now. So almost a pallet. And almost a pallet in here. So all that's looking good. We gotta get some lime fertilizer and get a rock picker going on the other field. And hopefully we plant grass in it soon, today or tomorrow. And our wheat. Wheat is three or seven. pH is going down a little bit. Nitrogen's perfect. Crop rotation's perfect. Um, there was something else. Oh yeah, we gotta get a combine and uh, go from there too. What was? Oh, it's a bell spike. Yeah, we gotta move that over. Yeah, right there. Maybe somebody can see it instead of running over it. But folks, I guess that's gonna conclude it. We're gonna go one more time over here. Um. These pallets. Okay, there are individual. They're not going to sell like that. Yeah, see, you flip them over. Oh, flip those two over. That tuck. That gives us a little bit more money. There's 23. 23. Let's see. Let's go in here one more time to the money. And we're going to pay off or repay. There. Well, 230000 now. I might get busy with the field work, but I got to go pick up some kids, my kids, from work. And, uh, oh, I forgot about this bell. And we got a couple bells down here that's not on the truck. I totally forgot about them. And they're 24%, so probably about February when they'll be ready. Where did I even park those? I can't even remember. But anyway, yeah. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. I'm going to get off here, folks. Uh, I, that's about all I can think that we need to do. So, uh, yeah. Our new field is plowed. And always somebody coming when you got to pull out. i to turn my hazards on. Or turn... Oh, I got... Turn my strobes on. Yeah, there we go. Might might give somebody a seizure or something. I hope not. We got we gotta get us a shed too and a place to put it. So all that's coming. I just hear something to hit. We're gonna go in here. Oh, that's where I put it. I guess I'm putting everything in here. But anyway, folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'm watching my camera. Somebody's outside. So uh, I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and uh, see you in the next episode.